Hi, I was asked by a friend to do a comparison between the two diffusers that I have talked about in previous videos. So I have the Aroma Light here and the Petal Diffuser here. Um, Christy, this is for you. I wanted to give you a little bit of information as to why I prefer the Aroma Light, but I still use the Petal. First of all, the Petal was my um, first diffuser. Actually, no, that's not right. I got one off of Amazon and at first because it was much cheaper and it turned out right as soon as Jordan and I both got um, pneumonia at the same time um, a few years ago, that diffuser decided to die and it didn't come with a warranty. So I was just out like $30, $30 I think and we were so sick but thankfully my grandma had an aroma light that I was able to use to borrow until I ordered one and got one in and it was at that point that I decided to go ahead and just use the um, doTERRA diffusers because they have the warranty they are a little bit more expensive than what um, I was able to access online but the warranty negates that cost offset um, it's worth it. It's worth it because they are designed for doTERRA oils and it's it's worth the extra money for um, for the fact that if you need to replace it you can and it's free of charge. So I'll first start with the pedal diffuser. So it's very easy to use. It's basically two parts the, and then the wire that plugs in back here and into the wall. This um, top part comes off you can see on the inside this little red dot is your fill line so you will just set it on your um, table or your nightstand and fill it to that red line with I use purified or um, reverse osmosis water if my um, filtration filtration system is running I will use bottled purified water but if it is stopped and the tank is full under the sink then I'll just use reverse osmosis. That's what I use most of the time. And I've never had a cruddy diffuser that way. The mechanism down here, as you can see, is clean as, as it is when it's brand new. And this thing is two years old. So high quality water and high quality oils make diffusers last a long, long time. Um, it's got two button settings. You've got your mist option and you've got your light option. That's one thing that's really great about um, both of the diffusers is you do have a light option. There's a small green light when you um, select your time function. It's one hour, two hours, or four hours. Um, and it'll uh, illuminate by the time frame so you know how long your diffuser is going to run. This diffuser um, has a larger water reservoir than the aroma light so it holds a little bit more water in there but it doesn't run for as long um, as the aroma light which is another reason why uh, the aroma light is my favorite it covers 300 or up to 300 square feet now if you have vaulted ceilings you need to take that into account because the the vaporized um, the water droplets when it when it's vaporized with the the oils is because it's sonicated and shaken and it's put up in the mist um, it will travel up so you have to make sure to take that into account as well when you're choosing a diffuser now the aroma light this is my favorite little dude um, he's more compact it's a lot smaller as you can see so I would say that the petal is not quite twice as large, excuse me for that reach over there, um, but this guy is just really small and, 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 and compact. You take off the top um, sleeve and then there's a small top here and the spout. And the one thing I do not like about the Aroma Light, and I'm being honest here, this is just me being me, I'm being as real with you as possible um, on all my videos. I I do these for you and I want to be honest with you because the honesty is key <laughs> with me. Um, this little line inside, it, it's not red and so it's a little bit um, more difficult to walk someone through how to get it set up. Um, 
on the phone because I always talk to everybody that places an order with me. Talk to, I talk them through. I'm always available um, to, for education to talk to them, and so that you're not you're not in this alone. I am an ambassador for wellness here, and whether um, you choose to discuss essential oils with me, or exercise, or nutrition, or what have you, I am that concierge. So um, I have to be honest and and do what's best for you. So this is just a notch, and it's very difficult to see. It's as if there's a plastic toothpick, is how I describe it, stuck to the inside of the reservoir, fill it to the top of the toothpick, which, as you can tell, is, is not very much, especially in comparison to the pedal diffuser here. So here's the inside of the pedal diffuser, and here's the inside of the aroma light. There's a substantial difference in um, capacity there. However, the aroma light runs for twice as long. This is an eight hour high output machine. You can choose to have a continual or intermittent mist. I like intermittent, um, that's just me. So it um, emits mist and then it stops and it emits mist and it stops. Um, and I just set it and forget it a lot of you know that I am still in graduate school. I'm finishing one master's degree this December and another master's degree in um, May of next year in 2018. And I like to s turn on my coffee pot, take my dog out and turn my diffuser on while I'm waiting for my coffee. That way, while I'm home doing homework or I'm working from home, one of the two, I'm getting what I need. I am paying attention to my own health and wellness, whether it's um, emotionally based or physically based, or I just need a little bit of a charge. I've been honest with you before that I use a lot of elevation and motivate equal drops, about two or three drops each, and that sort of is my essential oil crack. It is a... Um, a nice elevated boost throughout the day and sometimes when you have a lot to do it's um, mind-boggling and so that helps me um, so the aroma light runs for eight hours and I, I don't have to worry about reapplying or keeping track of time or the diffuser running out in four hours and then stopping in the middle of say an assignment or grading something for an, an active course to refill the diffuser um, I don't have to pay attention to it. I set it and I forget it. It's also nice to do that at night. I don't know about you. I usually sleep more than four hours and I want my diffuser running the entire time that I'm sleeping. Whether it's just additional oils to help my sleep quality or if I'm not feeling well. Um, I used to run this for Jordan when he was home too and he, he would have night terrors or um, he was ill. So the length of time is crucial to me. It's key. It's another reason. I mean, it's the top reason that I love this diffuser the best. Um, it covers up to 500 square feet. So that's really nice to have in between the bedrooms. I would put it at an angle like this. So the bedrooms were side by side here and here. And it sort of gave me the comfort to know that we were both covered by the same diffuser if, like when we were both sick, I put, you know, cinnamon and on guard. I, I tried oregano and being a potent antiviral and it kind of made my house smell like pizzeria, which is totally fine. Um, but when you're sick, I did I don't like the smell of food. So the cinnamon and on guard ended up staying. I think I put a Melaleuca in there as well. But this... Um, this diffuser is over one year old and I want you to see that when you use high quality water and high quality oils, the mechanics don't get, um, cruddy and they don't, they don't get that weird slime layer. They don't get the uh, sediments that cause the machine not to work. So really good water and really good oils um, we'll make sure that your diffuser lasts a long time for you. Again, you fill it to the top of the toothpick with um, well reverse osmosis water or purified water. Those are the two that I recommend. 
and you put your oils in here. I use um, six to nine drops of oil in the Aroma Light. Usually it's six because to me that's plenty. But when I'm not feeling well, I load the sucker up. I'm telling you the truth here. I'll pack it. I call it packing the diffuser. I don't like to do that. Um, to me, I I don't want to be too. Oh, I don't want to overwhelm my body. Um, I want to help my body heal itself. And so, too much of a good thing is still too much. It's not a good thing. So I I try to stay to about six. But sometimes I have to go over that, and and I'll sh I'll put nine in there. I'm I'm I just feel like whether it's blends or um, a variety of singles that sometimes I have to reach that many, but I try not to very much. So you put your water and your oils in there and then that just slips right on. And then I put the, the lid on and then the spout lines up right there so that the lid goes on real tight. And then you also have the two buttons. I'm trying to get the lighting right. You have the LED button and then you have um, the set. So this is going to be your light. So whether you want the light on to glow or not. And then to, you can push it set one time and that's the continual um, mist. Or you can push it twice and it will be intermittent. Um, as I said, I like the intermittent. But I have used the continual. It just kind of depends on what's going on. I use continual when I don't feel well. Um, but most of the time it's intermittent during the day and at night. So those are the two diffusers that I have. I They are both water diffusers. You have to run them with water. I have the cloud diffuser that's a waterless diffuser. I don't like them so that I don't recommend them. Um, I only recommend things that I like and things that I enjoy and have had benefits from them. It's not that I don't benefit from the cloud diffuser. It is a waterless diffuser. It's it is a great diffuser. However, in my opinion, the negative aspects of it, it's loud. I don't, I don't want to hear it running. Like I don't mind a few little bubble sounds. That's fine. We you know with the water bouncing up and then um, coming back down off the lid or what have you as the as the water and the oils are sonicated I don't mind that that's not loud the you can hear the whirring and, and the motor running on the cloud and I don't like that and second it uses a copious amount of oil I ran that thing the first time and it uses used a third of the bottle and I was like um this is insane. So that's really why I don't recommend them. One, I don't want to hear them. And two, I don't want to use an excessive amount of oil. Now, I told you how many drops I used in the Aroma Light. In the Petal Diffuser, I usually keep it to like um, four to five. So it uses similar amounts because it does use similar amount of water. Sorry about Hera's ringing bell. I bell trained her to go outside, so when she has to potty, she rings the bell, and she's trying to get me to get off YouTube. But um, so four or five drops. That that's another reason why I prefer the Aroma Light. If it's going to use about the same amount of oils, but only run half the time, I'm using twice the amount of oil for the same run time, and so that sort of compensates for the cost difference. The petal is 47, the Aroma Light is 89. And you're probably thinking $89, holy mackerel, that's a lot for a diffuser. It comes with a warranty so that if anything happened to it, they'll send you a new one. And I don't have to worry about getting sick and it failing because doTERRA's customer service is fantastic. Um, I take care of the diffusers. I took care of that one that broke. Um, I've had good luck with it, and so that's why I recommend it. I like the pedal. I just don't like having to be an attendant to it. I have a lot to do. I have a lot to think about and a lot going on, and I would like to be able to just set my diffuser and get on with my day.
So less oil, less hassle, more coverage, longer runtime. That's why I select the Aroma Light.